Hi, it's Evan from WCCF Tech, and we've got an exciting rumor regarding the Radeon RX 6500 XT and the RX 6400 entry-level GPUs. More details regarding AMD's entry-level RDNA 2 Navi 24 GPU-powered Radeon RX 6500 XT and 6400 graphics cards have leaked out. The information comes from Enthusiast Citizen over at the Billy Billy social network. We know that AMD is preparing at least two graphics cards based on the Navi24 RDNA2 GPU. Both of these graphics cards will be aiming at the entry level segment. The RX6500 XT will be competing directly against the GeForce RTX 3050 Ti and the Intel Arc A380, while the RX6400 will be pitted against the GeForce RTX 3050 and the Intel Arc A350 graphics cards. The AMD Radeon RX 6500 XT will be utilizing the full Navi 24 XT GPU die. The AMD Navi 24 GPU is the smallest of the RDNA 2 lineup and will feature a single SDMA engine. The chip will also feature two shader arrays for a total of 8 WGPs and a maximum of 16 compute units. AMD has 64 stream processors per compute unit, so that brings the total core count on the Navi24 GPU at 1024, which is half that of the Navi23 GPU, which will offer 2048 stream processors and 32 compute units. In addition to the number of cores, each shader array would feature 128 kilobytes of L1 cache, 1 megabyte of L2 cache, and there would also be 16 megabytes of Infinity cache. The AMD Navi24 RDNA2 GPUs will also feature across the 64 bit bus interface and will be featured on the low end Radeon RX 6500 or RX 6400 series parts. The AMD Navi24 is expected to get some really high clock speeds, even surpassing the 2.8 GHz barrier. The RX 6500 XT would not be able to operate in any mining algorithm, especially Ethereum. The top model will feature a TDP slightly above 75 watts, and as such, will require external power connectors to boot. The card is expected to launch in mid-January, so expect an announcement at CES 2022. The second card in the Navi24 RDNA2 lineup is the AMD Radeon RX6400, which will be based on a slightly cut down XL chip with only 768 cores. The card will retain its 4GB of GDDR6 memory and feature slightly slower clock speeds, but still around the 2.5GHz frequency range. It is also reported that the RX 6400 is not going to require any external power connectors to boot thanks to the sub 75 watt TDP. It will be available in March, around the same time as Intel launching their first Arc Alchemist GPUs. Both GPUs will be aimed at the entry level segment with MSRPs of sub 200 to 250 US dollars. Since the RX 6600 series is already positioned as the premium 1080p gaming segment, expect the Navi24 GPUs to be aimed at the entry level 1080p gaming market. But since AMD has raised the prices of its RDNA2 GPUs and alerted its manufacturers to do the same, the entry level market may end up in another mess for budget builders trying to get something after years of waiting for it. But what do you think? Will you be grabbing one of these entry level AMD GPUs when they become available? Let us know in the comments down below and don't forget to subscribe for more fantastic tech news.